Well, hello there. I just want to make a quick video. I won't keep you for long. I guess as we look at my Instagram page here, I was just thinking about uh, a few videos I wanted to make. One of them being about this Hulk comic I wrote, but obviously I could never get published with Marvel. And the dangers of what people now think of aliens actually being the Nephilim and whatnot, which is sort of what this video is about. I noticed on uh, Gab, but also on BitChute, Aldo put out a new video today talking about Donald Marshall's latest spew. And so I basically just made a post about it. I'm so sick of this topic in general and these people pushing the alien agenda nonsense. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Our true enemy has not yet shown his face. Donald Marshall's raging hard on for the Anunnaki, Palladian, whatever. Are you serious? Aliens from Uranus coming to save the day or whatever. <laughs> but anyway, he's saying now that Gilgamesh was basically just a blueprint. Like, a schematic blueprint for how they wanted to clone Nephilim Chimeras. The only problem with that, Donald, is that Steve Quayle exposed in, what, 2006? They found Gilgamesh Nimrod's body, his tomb, well-preserved giant body in Baghdad and a bunch of cuneiform tablets and resurrection dishes and all this, this stuff they raided from the Baghdad Museum. Yeah, that's not weird or anything. So yeah, Don Don is saying that Gilgamesh was this Chimera clone blueprint, not the Nephilim giant from the Bible. Nimrod is Gilgamesh, Baal, Melkart, Adonis. It's all the same dude with a different name after the Tower of Babel and the language is split. It's, it's actually provable. But Donald keeps pushing this whole, you know, Anunnaki, Palladian nonsense, never addressing the proof that Nephilim are hurt by prayer and calling on the name of Yeshua Jesus, or the fact that aliens have been proven to be hurt by prayer. Hmm. Donald always ignores the Nephilim perspective, the whole, the actual proofs that these creatures are hurt by prayer. I mean, wrap your mind around that. It's a shortcut to thinking. Or even all of Rob Skiba's research, how the Nephilim gene actually even works. There you go, bud. There's the chromosomes needed to make a Nephilim. And also, by the way, not all Nephilim are giants. I mean, the first generation Nephilim were giants. But by the time you get to Nimrod, that's like the fourth or fifth generation. So what does that make aliens and whatnot people call aliens today? The sixth generation Nephilim? I mean, people want to pretend all these quote-unquote religions are separate, but they're all the same. Zeus is as connected to Odin as they are to anyone else, going back to Kronos. Or even the Saturn-Satan worship, you know? These little green men are not from Uranus, okay? I mean, they've found skeletal remains proving things like Agapashan, Goliath. I mean, even like I said, Steve Quayle researching into Gilgamesh's body being found when the Iraq war started. So, obviously this whole love affair Don Don has with the alien agenda, Anunnaki nonsense, I don't even know if he knows it's a lie. Maybe he's just programmed to believe it. Or maybe he's actually lying, in which case it would make it worse. But, like I says, I'm just sick of this whole topic. People pushing this ancient aliens nonsense when it's, when it's completely debunkable. And I mean provably debunkable. You got proofs for the Bible, like Dr. Chuck Missler. Expelled. Evolution versus God. Chris White's Ancient Aliens debunked. All the Age of Deceit movies proving aliens are hurt by prayer. I mean, you'd have to be crazy on acid to want to believe the whole alien nonsense. Like, piss on the aliens. They're Nephilim. I mean, the word Nephilim is just a biblical way of saying mutant genetic aberration. Crossbred, animal-human hybrid, or what we would call angelic alien DNA. But anything that's not a pure-blood human is a Nephilim. That doesn't mean they're a giant. Not all Nephilim are giants. 
And this whole notion of uh, what Gilgamesh Nimrod was, or whoever he was, whatever, I mean, the Anunnaki alien agenda nonsense is being pushed. That whole Anunnaki alien agenda nonsense got started by Zachariah Sitchin, another Freemason goof, and that Von Donegan and all the other guys that came after and the zeitgeist lie, which is provably debunkable when you got the Torah codes predicting Yeshua Jesus before Egypt existed, which completely destroys their thesis that all the gods are based on Horus. Nonsense. So anyway, I just wanted to make this video because once again, Donald Marshall never, never, ever addresses the alien agenda for the Nephilim side of it. But as far as Donald Marshall and all that, I don't know. I'm getting sick of it, but whenever they push this alien agenda crap, I'll be the first to come out and make a quick video rebuking it, because someone's gotta. I mean, it's starting to get sick. So, yeah. Peace out, baby. Let us go to our Selling Your Soul line. You're on the air with us. Hi there. Um, yeah. Uh... September 20th, 98, I wrote a thing out saying I'd sell my soul for a million dollars and that I'd be willing to end my life after 10 years with that money. On the 28th, I won the lottery of 1.2 million. And now the time is coming close to the end, I've pissed all that money away and I'm just a little bit scared right now. how important it is what I'm telling people. Yeah, like before when you made me come down on the big screen and I'm the yeah. big head. <laughs> and if you guys are a part of that, you guys are world heroes at the same time. That well, answer, okay. and I, I don't you like to eat with you. Um, and people think that I'm either dead or taken over by some kind of parasitic... You're the same old Don. No, you wouldn't be able to tell, dude. They, um, they know my mannerisms, my speech patterns, and everything, and they don't call them mimics for nothing. Like, I won't say retarded, because it's politically incorrect. You guys said all better pray for my success if you believe in any gods at all. Do you believe in God? I believe in many gods now. That's a moot point. I I couldn't have posted anything. Well, I'm a little bit pissed, dude. Would you like to know why? Because somebody told them they enough. bounced time, and they said, "Take it back, or we're going to kill you." That's what they do. That's why no one can talk. Because they bounce time. There's there's that's the biggest fail safe, you guys. Oh my god. Trying to save the world here, you guys.